See the old cash review thing? Alright, cool, we're, we're into the old cash review thing. I just clicked to see what it was and it's coming to this, so. Thank you for buying Higurashi when they cry. Ono Kakashi. A visual novel by 7th Expansion. How was it? If you enjoyed it, even a little bit, it make me happy. <clears throat> even a little bit is stretching it. Nate, that incredibly dark end made me angry, you know. Made us angry. Let's understand, this is on a Kak Kakushi chapter is supposed to be somewhat of a prologue to the entire series. How could the prologue have such an incredibly dark ending? Yeah, but doesn't that happen sometimes? The player digging through the story in order to avoid a bad ending is the point of these types of uh, games after all. It's still just the first chapter, I'm looking forward to the next one. What happens in the next chapter, Rena? Do you know? Yeah, they said the next chapter will introduce another aspect of the story. That's a strange way of putting it. What does that mean? In this chapter, they introduced a string of mysterious deaths that have happened in Hinamizawa recently, right? The next chapter will introduce some of the history of Hinamizawa. Oh, cool! With one strange event happening after another, I got totally lost. What exactly is Oyashiro Sama's curse about? Actually, that is Oyashiro Sama to begin with. What is Oyashiro Sama to begin with? It didn't explain it much. Hmm, I haven't heard much about it. But. I have kind of a bad feeling about it. It feels like it will be another one of those scary stories where somebody gets cursed again. <laughs> Tough luck, eh, K chan What kind of curse is he going to get this to get <laughs> get hit with this time? However, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of story it's going to be. Sorry for being late. My bad. My bad. Hey everybody, good work today. Same to you. Hmm, where's Kei-chan? Kei-chan is already off reading the script for the next chapter. It must be hard being the main character. Huh? That's too bad. He could have, he could have at least popped in to say hello. It's probably because he doesn't have any character art, so he couldn't poke his head in even if he wanted to. <laughs> That is true, that is so fucking true, Rika. That's what we refer to as a professional problem. <laughs> Such a light-hearted way to end. Awesome. That was fucking brutal though. In any case, that story really was a lot of trouble, especially for Kei Kun and Rena chan Trouble? That was the mother of all bad endings. I wonder... What was the identity of the thing that attacked Keichikun? My theory is that it was the work of people made to... My theory is that it was the work of people made... Wait, the work of people made to look like a curse. Hmm, interesting, Tomitaki-san. That's a pretty good call. But at the end, Keichi made that phone call. <laughs> yeah. I also thought that call was strange. At that point, Keiichi, the Keichan should have been certain that the culprits were people. Hmm, that really was a strange phone call. It almost sounded like he was being chased by a ghost or something. It really did. <laughs> that phone call, it was like fucking... He was being chased by a fucking demon or something. Just from the phone call, it really makes me think that... <laughs> that it was the work of a curse after all. That's a good call. That's a good call. Since we're all here, why don't we all share our theories? We'll start with Sonazaki-san. I absolutely believe it was people. I think it was a man-made incident that was just imitating the strange folklore floating around in Imzawa. Cool. Certainly. Every year on the day of Wotanagashi, or the day of the festival, for another link in the chain of mysterious deaths to happen, certainly is suspicious. That so-called chain of mysterious deaths is definitely somebody trying to reenact the folklore. Folklore, definitely. I think it was a curse. Looking at the scene where Keiichi went berserk in the entryway and the last scene with the phone call, 
I just couldn't come. T I just couldn't come to the conclusion that a person was the culprit. Hmm. When you say it that way, it really wasn't the type of scene that would make you think it was the work of an actual person. Yeah, but don't. But even then, I still think it was a person who did it. The last scene and the one with the entryway. I think it may have been a delusional episode brought on by post-traumatic stress disorder. Fucking hell, Tommy Taki-san, that's getting fucking really into that. I wouldn't know what's going on anymore, even if you didn't use such complicated words. <laughs> In other words, Keiichi was so scared that he was imagining things. Then, then, then... What was the meaning behind that scene? What exactly was that mysterious presence behind Keiichi? A red herring? Red... R-E-A-D-H-E-R-R-I-N-G? Mi-chan, what do you mean by a red herring? Like old man Tomitaki said, uh, here said, that scene was a result of Keiichi having a stress-induced delusion from being mentally cornered. To expand on that a bit further, it was a ploy to make the player think it was a curse. That's why it was a red herring. Hmm... When you say it like that, hmm, but, but, <laughs> well, it just means that, the, it just means that there's that possibility. <clears throat> In that case, the theory that Yoshi-san proposed during the story that it was a conspiracy by the villagers was correct. What does the man himself have to say about that? Me? <laughs> hmm. It makes you think, eh? Huh? I totally thought that Oshi would be behind the people explanation. During the story I said it was definitely the work of people, but if a person really was to blame, that leaves a lot of loose ends. Like what? Let us hear what Detective Oshi's th sans theory is. First of all, if a human was a culprit, then there has to be a motive. In other words, somebody has to gain something from it. So. What you mean is, if there was the work of people, then there would have to be something gained from causing the chain of mysterious deaths. Exactly. I feel that somebody could have benefited from the deaths of people related to the dam development, but the recent victims weren't related to that at all. First off, who benefits from killing Keiichikun? I see. If you say it like that, my case is kind of weak too. I mean, none of your money was stolen. There's no way it was human culprits. But that's not... <laughs> that's not everything there is to it, right? Like Mi-chan said, just said, there may have been some sort of reason for them to reenact the folklore. Hmm, exactly. This wasn't a murder where you consider the typical motives. It makes me think that this was... that this was most likely it's some sort of ritualistic murder to reenact the bloodstained history of the village. So I'll ask the question of the hour who gains from this reenactment. It's not about simple benefit, it's a more psychological reason. I think that maybe this was an act of revenge, something native to the region. Fate was unable to be filled this time around. I see member of some represented uh, repressed family looking to air out an old grudge of their ancestor or something like that? Hmm, I don't like that. No doubt, it doesn't sound that good. Then what is it? It can be that you're leaning towards a curse explanation of Hoshi-san. That's right, that's right. The man playing the detective said so. So, it's decided it was a curse. <laughs> if how, if like how Mayabara said during the story, it was the cur it was the case that Oyosh Oyashiro Sama possessed Rena Sana, Ren <coughs> Rena Sana and uh, Sonazaki San, and committed those acts. That would fit the evidence most. As much as I hate to say it, um, actually, uh, I'm one of the I'm one of the same opinion as Oyoshi San. I don't come up with any other explanation for the normally kind Rena and Mi-chan to suddenly start acting strange like that. That is fucking true. About that, it may sound strange coming from the person herself. I think that I, Neon, 
did it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get what me is saying. I'd like an explanation. <clears throat> oh, sorry. In other words, I think this m may end up being a really cool story. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you're actually going to be the fucking evil killer wifey. Oh, wait, me chan. You don't mean. If you follow the trail of evidence to the very end, that's how it would seem. I also have my suspicions. In other words, Rena-san and Sonazaki-san both actually had these most personalities to begin with and were merely deceiving Mayabara-san. Am I right? I don't like that at all. Wow! <laughs> Fucking hell, Satoko. This is all the curse's fault. Rena-san and Mion-san and everyone else are all kind, nice people. I, I think that too. I think that Rena and Myung Chan are really good people at heart. I think that during the story they definitely were possessed by something. So Rena also thinks it was a curse. Then let me ask everyone who thinks it was a curse. There has to be a reason for a curse, right? I don't think there would be something indiscriminately cursing everything. Can somebody explain that? A curse is a curse. Hmm. Logic wouldn't get us anywhere. Haha, <laughs> Satoko-chan. <laughs> Persona 5D is, in the end, nothing more than the creation of people. That's why their method of thinking is also understandable by understandable to humans. Just take a look at the Greek pantheon. They cry, get angry, get jealous. Basically, they're just like humans. Ah, so what you're saying is that Oishi Rosama is cursing people with some benefit in mind. That's an odd way of putting it, but basically, yeah. That's why they say, far from Jupiter, far from his thunder. Ahaha. <laughs> you do have a point. Basically, it doesn't matter if it's Oishi Oishiro-sama or humans, there has to be a reason. But Rika, what if that reason isn't clear? I don't know. <laughs> it could be they just broke into that fucking hang, remember? Wait, did they break into that thing? No, he got told about the fucking curse, didn't he? Until he got told about the curse. What did what did he actually do to get cursed? Spoke to Oshi. Spoke to Takano. Spoke to Tomataki. Didn't did he break it in? Hmm. I don't think he did. He didn't even break in and steal the bat, did he? No. Ah ha 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 ha. That's right. This is just the prologue. There's still a lot of stuff that hasn't been revealed yet. Yeah. It's hard to come up with any more theories at this point. No, I won't be satisfied until this is all made clear. Mion san rather seems particular about this as well. <laughs> we'll just make the best with what we do, what we know. Doesn't this feel interesting, like the like the club a little bit? Ah, yeah. If you put it that way, it does seem interesting. Come on, where's Keiji? Well then, let's summarize. Let's see if I think it was a curse. Tomitaki thinks it was people, right? Let's see. I think it was a curse. Tomitaki thinks it was people, right? Yeah. I'll go with it being people. I also agree with the people explanation. That's not to say I hate the fantastic things like curses, but in this particular case, the connection to a curse is a little weak. Okay. Two f oh, for the people explanation then. Renaissance was on the curse side of things, right? Yep. Satoko and I believe it was a curse. Right. Yeah. I think it was a curse. People who say that Rena-san and Mion-san were evil to begin with are more befitting of a curse. Well, I don't want to believe that my own personality was that twisted, but I have to be cool when I'm a club mem um, when I'm in club mode. If I base my choices on just emotion, I'll regret it, you know. Well, man, <laughs> it doesn't really matter what say you pick, does it? Oh, Rika. 
Mikachan hasn't said anything yet. What do you think? I don't think that Oyashiro Sama is a bad girl, a bad god. Hmm, it's an interesting option. I don't want to worship some bad god that just curses people. I like a generous god more than one that curses. That's right, Rikichan is a shrine maiden. Yep, good up, opinion. Then what? If Rikichan doesn't believe that it was Oyashiro Sama, then do you think characters were human after all? We'll just go with that. Hmm, well now, that means the votes are split right down the middle. So half of us think it was a curse and half of us think it was people. Rena, Chan, just for reference, what did the test players who played the beta version think? <coughs> hmm, yeah, there were a lot of players who believed in the people explanation. See, see right there? Our veteran comrades are cool, collected and very observant. Hmm. But the better version only finished partway through the story. That's right. Even the people who played the better might change their minds if they go through to the very end. Wait. What should we, oh, what should we do then? This means that the opinions are still split. There's no fun if we don't settle this. Yes, we need there to be an odd number of judges, in other words, we need one more opinion. My opinion, apparently. The my fucking opinion. Ah, perfect timing then. Why don't we ask Keiichi-kun himself? Let's call him. Come on, Giza. The opinion of the victim himself is very valuable. Since that's decided, it's time for the fall. <laughs> Hello, Kichikun. Kichikun. Oh man, he's on the fucking phone. It's right now. Are you busy with work right now? Good day. Yeah. Yeah, really busy. Just when I thought I'd get a break because the chapter's over, it's already time for the next one. How's Kichan? Busy? Yeah. He's moping. I can hear you, you know. It must be nice having a warm-up party. I want you to go too. You can come if you get some character art for yourself. <laughs> Rika, that's a secret. <laughs> There's the art for Keiichi. That's fucking brilliant. Oh man, it's so funny. Ah, sorry about that, Keiichi again. <laughs> Anyways. During the current chapter, Keichkin, didn't you die? We were just talking about who the culprit may be. Basically, we're deadlocked on whether it was people or Horishiro Sama's curse that killed you. I'm really sorry, even though you're busy reviewing the script, Keichkin, which do you think it was? It's obvious, isn't it? Which? Isn't it both of them? Ah. One. Isn't it both of them? Targeted by suspicious people in the village and then cursed by some strange Oyashiro Sama on top of that? It's both humans and the curse. Everyone's just picking on me. So very, very pitiful. Next time I'll pat you on the head for, for you. I'll pat you on the head for you. <laughs> oh no. That's quite. That could be fucking. That does actually sound quite fucking true. In the end, opinions still split, huh? I'm with Kaichi on this, it's Bethlehem. I think this, I'll think this over again. We may have missed something. Well then, please look forward to the next release. Higurashi when they cry with Tanagashi. I've already got it. <laughs> I've already got it. I've already got it. I didn't pick. Oh, didn't they ask me? Didn't they ask me? I wanted to see. I wanted to see. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Ah, there we go. That's it, that's it. All done! All done! All done! And dusted! And done and funnin! And done and funnin! Cool! Um, so yeah, that's pretty much done.
Cool. So that's the cash review, and it's all done, 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 and done, and done, and done. So I'll catch you later again. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> bye bye.